I've got one way to be prepared for the cold. Dress for it, even indoors. Well, it's a little silly, just doing it for effect. But, you know, it has been really, really cold for us in so much of the country, from the Midwest all the way up to the Northeast and down into Florida, where temperatures completely abnormal all the way into Central Florida have been brutal the last few days. And so it gives me an opportunity to pull you in and get you focused on something that we only pay attention to when temperatures spike to extraordinary levels or drop to the bone-chilling vortex levels that we've been at in a lot of the country. So now that I got your attention, I want you to think about a couple of things. First, energy. The energy you use to heat and cool your home, to provide the lights in your home. Do you know that in roughly half the nation's states, you can either go out and shop for your natural gas or your electricity, or in some states, both. And most of us being creatures of habit, signed up with the company long ago, have not shot prices, and that's a bad idea. So if you live in a state where you can shop for either your natural gas or electricity, or both, I want you to use this opportunity while you really have a super focus on the cost to go shop. Many states have state websites that do what they call apples to apples comparisons where you can compare the marketers one to another. So that's one thing. But do you know that's not the most important part of the equation? The most important part is what do you do to reduce how much energy your house uses anyway? So there are simple things that most of us know we just never get around to. As an example, if you're in a place in America right now where it's been really cold, you know where it's been drafty, where the cold air is seeping in. So a lot of the things you can do that will seal up your home, if you, especially if you can do them yourself, are really cheap, like sealing up around doors and windows. Yeah, you know that, right? Just do it. And then your attic. I went up to my attic and found exposed areas between the rafters where there was no insulation anymore. The house is 11 years old and areas have become exposed. So one of the things we're doing, we're going to put more insulation in our attic. What about you? Do you know that just dealing with the leaks around your doors and windows and taking care of insulation in your attic, that that alone can reduce the energy you need for heating and cooling by roughly 30%. That's in combo. So Also, you may be eligible for tax credits at either the federal level or the state level for you to retrofit areas in your home to make them more energy efficient. I've got a list of efficiency suggestions that you can look at and ways for you to figure out what would be the smartest stuff for you to do at your home at ClarkHoward.com. 